Hello there, I'm Matthew Fernandez from Team Dynamite Baits and today we're going to go through some do's and don'ts when targeting specimen cruisions like these two beautiful bars of gold here. My number one point when targeting specimen cruisions is location. Location is key. Whether you're fishing a big pit, a state lake, day ticket fishery, whatever, location is always priority. When arriving at your lake, always look for marginal features. That will be my number one sort of go-to thing when cruising fishing. I'll always pick a swim where there's marginal pads. Even if the lake is rather large, you know, the cruisions tend to hang around the pads willows, overhangs, reeds, any sort of marginal feature. If it's got a good bit of depth, nine times out of 10, the cruisions will be there. And usually I try and fish on the end of the winds that will push the fish into the sort of margins that you're fishing. If you haven't got any marginal features and there isn't any features to go by, do not ignore open water. Open water can be a really good sort of banker spot when fishing for anything really. Um, if your lake's weedy, just let around, find a clear spot, put a nice bit of bait out there and the cruisers will come to you. Again, look for sort of conditions on the end of the wind, etc. But location is key and that is my number one tip for targeting specimen cruisers. When float fishing in the margins for cruisers, bait is very important. My number one go-to bait to fish over is hemp. Cruisians absolutely love hemp, but the key is not to overfeed or you'll draw in nuisance fish, i.e. tench, carp and other species. Cruisians do not like disturbance, so keep baiting to a minimum. I like to start the swim off with a couple of small handfuls of hemp. Once you've done that, that is key to start fishing over. And then after each bite, introduce another handful. Hook bait wise, I use a multitude of different hook, hook baits. Number one, I like to use the Dynamite Swim Stim F1 Suite. They do these in four mil and six mil. I like the four mil size pellets. They're nice, soft, easy to hook, and the cruisers love them. If they're not working, another one of my favorites is the Ever Faithful Caster. Caster is an epic hook bait. Again, you do not want to overfeed casters into your swim because Tench also love casters and they will scare off the cruisers. And then obviously you can use maggot, sweet corn if you like, but my two top two hook baits for when cruising fishing on the float is caster and soft hookable pellets. When feeder fishing open water for cruisians, I'm just gonna run through my go-to sort of mix. Start off with the ground bait, which is the key ingredient. And I like to use the Dynamite Swim Stim F1 Sweet. This has been on the market for a while now, and this is a proven big cruising catcher. I've had cruisers from many venues up to £4.2 on this mix. Basically, I like to put half a bag in to start with. I'll then add some Swim Stim F1 Sweet 2ml low feed pellets. I'll then add some hemp seed to the mix. 
And then to bind it up, I'll add some of the Dynamite Swim Stim Pellet Soak, the F1 Sweet. You don't want it too wet and you don't want it too dry. You want a nice consistent mix, just enough so when you put it on the feeder and on the mould, it will bind nicely. Also, if you're fishing open water on bigger pits, estate lakes, and the cruisers are showing at range, and you do want to fish over a bit, a bed of bait, again, use the same mix, but put it in a bigger bucket, maybe add a little bit more hemp, a little bit more liquid attractant, and you can spawn that to your spot, and then you can wrap your rods up and fish to a clip, so you're fishing to a baited spot but on heavy sort of heavily fished day ticket waters, I like to literally just fish the feeder. That has an adequate amount of bait for a bite. And again, on busy sort of day tickets, which are heavily stocked with tench, not so much the cruisians, you don't want to overfeed, so you'll attract the, crew, um, the tench. But if you're fishing bigger low stock lakes and you can afford to put a bait, bit of bait in, it is worth adding that mix into a spod, spawn, and putting it out onto your spot and fishing to a clip. When fishing the margins, I like to float fish. Basically, the reasons why I like to float fish is because it's how sensitive the float is and it registers bites quickly and you can put more fish onto the bank. Basically, my go-to sort of float rod setup will be Adrenaline Acolyte, 13 foot plus. It's got a little bit of backbone. Obviously, the lake you might be targeting could have other fish. I couple that with a small reel with three pound float fish line and then going down to the important part, I like to use a really sensitive pole float. You're not fishing far out, just off the tip of the rod. And basically, when using a sensitive float, that helps aid catch the cruisians because we all know cruisians are super finicky. I like fishing this method dead bottom. And basically what I do is I shot the float perfect weight. So when you put your hook bait on, it will dip the float down a little bit more. So if you're fishing too shallow, the float will sit up a little bit more. If you're fishing over depth, the float will completely disappear. So you always know you're on the spot and you always know you're fishing. As soon as a cruiser will come in and take the hook bait, that float will just disappear. Obviously, you've got to sit on your hands a bit because you will get dipped from the liners due to this, how sensitive you're fishing the float. But I can guarantee you, you will put more fish on the bank when using this setup. When fishing open water and you're fishing the feeder, you want to use a decent rod and reel. I like to use the Drennan Series 7, the one and a quarter test curve rods. These have got a nice bit of backbone. If you're fishing sort of 30 to 40 yards, it'll bang a feeder to the range that you want to fish at perfectly. I couple that with a little bait runner reel and I load that with six pounds feeder line. Going down to the important part, I fish a little 35 gram Drennan flatbed feeder. These are ideal for casting to the spots. They're good sort of weight. The rig I like to use, no bigger than sort of three inches, little tiny micro braid hook link. I use 10 pounds, yes that's big, but in most lakes these days there's tench, carp, stuff like that, so that'll help aid land them if you do hook one. Hook baits, I use a tiny little hair, you can switch to whatever hook bait you like. Hook, I like to use a Drennan Super Specialist size 16 wide gape micro barbed hook. And then this is another little important part I like to incorporate with the feeder, and that is just some sink link, and that just makes sure everything's pinned down. So when you're targeting finicky cruisians, they don't pick up on line. This will be sat nicely on the, on the lake bed and help aid bites. And another good thing with when using the feeder, when that's all tucked in, they hook themselves. So you don't have to worry about striking really. You'll get an absolute one toner and it will turn finicky feeding cruisians into easily hookable cruisians. And it has helped me land a lot of fish. <laughs>